Hi, how are you doing? Congratulations on getting the new DJI Osmo Pocket 3. My name is Otto and this video is an easy to follow tutorial on how to use this pocket camera. I hope this is useful for most of you and if it is, please give this video a like and leave a comment down below. Once you take everything out of the box, the first thing you should do is charge the battery on the Pocket 3. You can use any charger, but this camera supports PV charging up to 65 watts. I've been using this one from the brand Anchor with a supplied USB-C cable to charge the Pocket 3 by plugging the cable on the USB-C port underneath. When the battery is charging, you will see this green icon, and when the gimbal is fully charged, the screen will turn off. This is a tripod handle that you can attach at the bottom of the Pocket 3. Just push it all the way in until you hear a click on each side. At the bottom, you will find a quarter inch thread hole so you can screw a tripod and the USB-C port will be at the front of the camera. If you need to remove this accessory, just press and hold the front release button and pull the extension out. And if you have the battery handle, just follow the same previous steps. To charge the battery handle, you can do so when it's attached to the Pocket 3 or you can do it by itself. A green light blinking indicates that it's charging and it will turn off when it's done. When it's not attached, you can press the front release button to check the battery level which depends on the color of the light. To insert the memory card, go to the left side of the camera, insert the card with the contacts facing the back and push it all the way until it clicks. And to remove the memory card, you need to push it and then pull it away. If this is the first time using this, you will need to download the DJI Mimo app on your smartphone. For iPhones, use the App Store. And for Android devices, you need to download the app directly from the DJI website or you can scan the QR code in the back of the box. There are two ways to turn on the Pocket 3. One is by pressing this button once, and the other way is by flipping the screen to the horizontal position. On your smartphone, open the app and follow the indications. You will need to create an account if you haven't done so in the past, and then you're going to proceed to activate your new device. And after that, you need to download and install the firmware update available. To turn off the Pocket 3, you can flip the screen back to the vertical position. The other way to power off this device is by using the record button. Press and hold it for about 2 seconds until it turns off. Once you do this, the gimbal and the camera will lock into this position. Be aware that the camera can move out of that position and the lens will be exposed. So I highly recommend that you place the Pocket 3 inside this protective case. The screen should be facing in and this section of the gimbal should fit like this. Inside the protective case, there are two magnetic slots where you can place two different lenses. And at the top, you can place the DJI Mic 2 transmitter or a similar one for transportation or to use the case as a microphone handle. Here on the left side, we have the joystick and this will let you move the camera around. It can go up, down, left and right. But this also has a few other functions. If you press and hold it, it will lock all the axes on the gimbal, so the camera will keep pointing in the same direction no matter how you move the Pocket 3. If you press the joystick twice, it will recenter the camera. Make sure to remember this function because you will need to use it very frequently. And last, if you press the joystick three times, it will flip the camera around to face backwards or forward. Another way to flip the camera around is by tapping this icon on the lower right corner of the screen. This red button on the right side is the record button and it will start or stop recording if you are in video mode or it will take a picture if you are in photo mode. If you want to use the wide angle lens or an ND filter, you just have to place it like this on the camera. This is a DJI Mic 2 transmitter. If you don't have it, you can skip to the next section. Charge the transmitter by plugging a USB-C cable into this port. To turn the mic on, press and hold the power button on the right side for about 2 seconds. If you see this green volume meter on the Pocket 3, it means that they are connected. If you don't see this, press and hold the record button on the left side until this light starts blinking blue. Then, Press and hold the link button, which is the next to the power button, 
and it should connect to the pocket 3 in a few seconds. At the top of the transmitter, there is a 3.5mm jack where you can connect a lavalier mic and here you can also insert the windshield like this. This transmitter can also be used to start or stop recording on the Pocket 3, you just have to press the link button to do so. On the screen of the Pocket 3, if we swipe down, we're going to get this main menu that has a few important settings. This icon is the rotation speed, it is how fast the gimbal will rotate when you move it around, and this should not be confused with the joystick speed. You can select slow, which can be useful for cinematic or smoother movements, default is a medium speed that will fit most situations, and fast is going to make the gimbal more responsive to your movements. This icon will let you change the gimbal modes, which is how the gimbal will behave. Follow mode is the default, and here, the camera will follow your movement when you pan left or right and when you tilt up or down. On tilt lock, the camera will follow your movements when you pan left or right, but it will not tilt up or down. These two modes will keep the horizon level straight at all times, and on FPV, all three axes on the gimbal will be unlocked, so the pan, the tilt, and the row axis will follow your movement, and here the horizon level will not be straight. This icon here will let you select what happens when you rotate the screen. Auto-rotate will change the aspect ratio to match the orientation of the screen. For example, if the screen is horizontal, it will shoot in landscape, and if you rotate the screen to vertical, it will shoot in portrait mode. The other two options will lock the orientation to either landscape or portrait regardless of the position of the screen. To start tracking someone or something, just double tap on the screen directly on the subject that you want to track. And to stop tracking, you need to press anywhere on the screen. When you flip the camera around to selfie mode, the tracking will start automatically. If you want to turn that feature off, Open the menu and tap this icon to turn it off. This icon here will control the brightness of the screen. And this other icon will let you activate the screen rotate and capture, and this will make the Pocket 3 start recording as soon as you rotate the screen. This icon here will let you create or delete a custom profile with your current video mode and settings, and you can have up to 5 different ones. To change the camera mode, tap this icon at the bottom left corner. In this menu, you can select panorama shots, photo mode, video mode, low light video mode, slow motion, and time lapses. And custom profiles that you save will also appear in this menu. By swiping up on the screen, you will get this menu where you can change the resolution and the frame rate by sliding the values to the left or the right. On this corner, you can change the aspect ratio to a 1 to 1, which will result in a square video. For panorama shots, you will get this option to select 180 degrees or 3x3 three three shots. There is also a timer down here for both panorama and photo mode. If you select time lapse, Swiping up will let you select other modes such as hyperlapse and motion lapses, and below them, you will get their own options. For example, time lapses have three different presets, or you can set your own values if you select custom. And here on the upper right corner, you can select the resolution and the frame rate. Swiping left on the screen will open this menu with a few options. Glamour effect will let you preview and play around with some beauty effects, but it only works directly on the DJI MIMO app. Down here, this option will let you manually increase or decrease the sharpness and also the noise reduction. And if you tap this icon up here, it will enable Pro settings. Here you can set the exposure to manual if you want to change the shutter speed or set a specific ISO value. If you want to use auto settings, you can still change the exposure compensation and set the range for the ISO. Next to the exposure, you can set the white balance to auto or manual. And here is where you select the color mode. The default is normal, but you can also select 10-bit HLG or 10-bit D-Log-M that you can color grade later in post. Down here, you can select the focus mode to continuous or single. Single mode should be used if you want the camera to focus on a specific point that you select on the screen. 
product showcase is a new focus mode that will give priority to anything that you place in front of the camera instead of yourself, which is useful if you want to show a product. By tapping this icon up here, you can change the different options for the microphone. Here you can set the audio to stereo or mono, turn the noise reduction on or off, and down here you can select the direction of the microphone. The options are front, front and back, or you can activate all three microphones. Using the DJI Mic 2 transmitter, this menu will let you mute the mic, change the gain volume, and turn the noise reduction on or off. To exit this menu, just tap on the left side of the screen. If you look at the right side of the screen, there is a slider that has two functions. The default is to zoom in and out, and you do it by sliding your finger up or down, and the zoom speed will depend on how you slide your finger. If you tap the slider once, it will let you zoom in and out using the joystick, and the slider will now move the camera up and down. Take note that the zoom can be used when you're recording a video and you can also swipe from the right to change the exposure compensation just like this. On this corner you will see the battery icon and if you press it, it will show you the battery percentage of the Pocket 3 and the battery handle if you're using it. This icon on the left side will open this menu where you will see three options. Face Auto Detect will automatically start tracking the face that is closer to the center of the frame, but the tracking will not begin until you start recording. Dynamic framing will let you change the composition of the frame when you track a person. With the joystick, you need to select a tracking point and that's where the subject will remain. Spin shot will make the camera spin around. And there are two options, 90 or 180 degrees. Once you select either option, you start the movement by pressing the joystick once or you can tap on the yellow circle. The movement will not start recording, so don't forget to do so before you start the spin rotation. If you select 180 degrees, the camera will point up and you will need to hold the pocket 3 in a horizontal position just like this. To exit spin shot mode, dynamic framing or face auto detect, you need to go back inside the main menu and tap where it says exit. Swiping right on the main screen will let you access the pictures or videos that you have taken and here you can preview, delete or mark them as favorites. For videos, this icon up here will let you change the volume. There are a few ways to transfer your videos or pictures out of the Pocket 3. You can connect the Pocket 3 directly to your computer and some smartphones using a USB-C cable. You need to turn the camera on and select the first option on the screen that says File Transfer and the Pocket 3 will behave just like an external drive. Another way is to open the DJI Mimo app on your smartphone, select the playback button and download the files that you want. And my least favorite way with this device is to remove the microSD card and use a card reader. To set the Pocket 3 as a webcam, connect it to your computer using a USB cable. Turn the camera on and select the webcam option on the screen. The computer will detect the Pocket 3 and you should be able to use it in a few seconds. For live streaming, you will need to select this feature on the DJI Mimo app where you will have to fill this information and give DJI access to your YouTube account. If you swipe down to open this menu, this icon will open the general settings of the Pocket 3. The wireless mic option will let you change a few settings. This audio to video sync will save a backup audio file using the transmitter internal memory. Here you can select which way you want the gimbal to face when you turn it on and below you can choose whether the Pocket 3 will turn off or not when you rotate the screen to the vertical position. Down below you will find the gimbal calibration tool and here you can change the speed of the joystick. The right side is the speed for the gimbal and on the left for the zoom if you are going to use it with the joystick. Other options down here include video compression, an option to turn on or off the grid lines, anti-flicker, time code and self timers to turn the screen off when recording or power off the Pocket 3 if you are not using it. At the bottom you can change the language, format your memory card and here you can do a factory reset as well. There will be more tutorials on how to use the Pocket 3 in a few days or weeks, so please consider subscribing. If you have any questions, please let me know. And for now, I hope you're having an amazing day. And I'll see you in the next video.
Bye.